What's up, everybody? This is the first part in my multi part Resident Evil 7 collect a thon. I recorded this on my PlayStation 4 a couple days ago, and uh, full disclosure, I am playing this on normal. This is my third walkthrough, I think, and uh, so I kind of know what I'm doing already. Uh, I have unlocked a few things. I have the Wesker pistol and the yeah. two things you get for beating it in under four hours, and so yeah. that helps a lot. Uh, I was checking an FAQ for the first little bit of this walkthrough, but I, I kind of stopped that. Uh, one of the items, it turns out, will highlight everything, and it was really helpful, so you'll kind of see me stop just kind of not doing much while I'm checking the FAQ. I do really like this opening. Um, even if, like, the people who talk to you, sometimes their mouths don't necessarily start moving with the words that are coming out of their mouth. And it kind of just adds to, like, the freaky factor, I think. Just something somewhere is not right. Uh, this opening where he's driving up to the cabin, or the house, mansion, whatever it is, uh, is kind of cool, kind of sets up that no, something's not right, even if, you know, s stuff seems right on the surface. He's starting out looking for Mia. That's a definite real Texas Chainsaw Massacre, at least in the early parts of this game. Uh, I like it a lot. It's kind of a departure from Resident Evil, but later on it's not so much of a departure from Resident Evil. You'll see that too. Uh, and it's kind of a cool little, you know, mix of things, taking Resident Evil, adding some modern horror elements into it, and uh, making a new reinvention for this series. So right here, what I'm trying to do is trying to see if that's a file. Uh, it's one of the collectibles for an achievement later. I sit and I play with it for a little while for no good reason. It turns out it's not really a file. It's not going to count as one, so I just wind up giving up. But I spent probably a little bit too much time playing with this. It's kind of dumb. Yeah, see, I just gave up. Accept her gift. I wonder what that means. Kind of some of the little background things, background animations, like that dude walking off. That's pretty creepy in the beginning. Uh, I think right here I was looking at my FAQ. So I kind of look like a drunk person. The crows flying from the piece of meat. And then the wall of cow parts. I guess those are cows. They look like cows. Yeah. This first part of the game is pretty linear. There's really not a whole lot that uh, impacts the rest of the game. I mean, it's kind of like the tutorial. Kind of hand-holdy. Which you haven't played through this game might be kind of concerning for a Resident Evil game but it doesn't stay that way there's the uh, driver's license it's covered in some stuff there that's a file pop up as file yeah I'm checking I, I don't want to miss anything it'd be a waste of time if I did I probably have I'll probably have like one coin and one bobblehead that I just did not find, but that's okay. So here I'm going in the house. In the demo, there's a bunch of like nasty uh, body parts in there. Not so much this time around. A lot of this is just like the demo that was released. A few little differences make it less of a 
self-contained demo and like the beginning to a game. That stuff gets me every time. Looking around through all the drawers and stuff. Going upstairs, looking around, trying to make sure that like in these parts that funnel you through, I don't miss anything. It's the derelict house tape. I'm gonna walk through that here in a little bit. It's really heavy on the pictures here in the beginning. won't let you play Moonlight Sonata. Or there's a ghost in the house. Maybe. Who knows. Alright, so this is the first of like four, I think, tapes. You don't really have to walk through them. They're, you know, kind of optional. They do all kind of tell you something that's coming up though so if you need help with like any of the puzzles there might be something on a tape uh, and there is one thing that leads to an unlockable that I can't find in this beginning so I'm gonna look at everything this new guy not feeling it again just don't be surprised if we have to make a change new plan we do a walk These two the guys are kind of funny. Then we shoot the intro, just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time. Okay? Paranormal reality yeah. show, guys. Another you don't really believe people. that there's really Ecstatic. paranormal stuff out there. See here, I'm checking every like corner. <clears throat> it winds up being just under my nose later. After you. So, are we in hell this time? Did you ever press? Yeah, it's kind of dumb of me. I'm not the world's best video game player at all. But I like it. Eventually up here I just kind of give up and go in the house. I decide to look once more. Yeah, even looking at an FAQ. Just can't seem to find everything. Going in the house hoping that it was operator error. Or it wasn't operator error. The FAQ oh, was just wrong. Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Make a great cutaway. So, uh, like for how real, how long was that pot there? The bakers, Jack and Marguerite Baker. No cockroaches this time, though. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seed, apparently. Ah, shit. There's that script we saw earlier. My good shoes. Doesn't have join us on the back. Oh, shit. Glad I had my shots. Although, some newspapers on the off. table. Andre, what do you think? Telling us some background, some world Andre? building stuff. Andre! 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 Andre!
Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? Where is he? Unfucking believable! This is the last time I work with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy, you stick with me. Try to go in the door, won't let me. Gotta let the other dude open the door. You're not qualified for that yet. What the fuck was that? The game kind of do doesn't expect you to go to go off on your own quite yet. Andre? Where the fuck is he? I think this is the point where I'm like, I'm gonna go outside and try to find that lockpick. Andre, where are you, man? But as you can see, some unforeseen force won't let me outside. So I just had to reload. Start back up. Who? Guy tries to scare you again. Where did you find this guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. And yeah, here's what I mean by it was right under my nose. Again? Just don't be surprised if we have to make it's a It's like game. literally under your feet when you first load up. Walk through the inside first, then we shoot the intro, just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shithole. Happy? Well, I guess, yeah, I have the lockpick. Now I gotta sit and watch these two guys bicker for a while again. Bicker about whether they're gonna fire me or not. Kind of worried about my job. Are we rolling? All right, let's go. <clears throat> Guy's a wimp. Can't even open the door. Get out of the way. It's locked. Yeah, just kick it down. It's private property. We don't really care too much, though. So, why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? I was an anchor, you know? We yeah, I used to be a Not weekend anchor. anchor. Nothing. So I guess those who can't teach and those who can't teach Sorry, go Andrew. into sewer gator business. Missing family, foul play suspected, the usual. How long do you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. Oh man, the kitchen from hell. <laughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. Time I tell him to go screw himself. I ain't taking a picture of that nasty food. There you go. Unlock the drawer. Oh, look, there's a picture inside. More and more pictures. It's awesome. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit! There goes Clancy. But it won't let me follow him. Those invisible walls, man. Gotta make sure that you stay on target. This make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? Andre? Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? Where is he? There are some times oh, in this game where, like, the NPCs just kind of act like plastic guy. models. It's kind of I funny. Mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy? Don't necessarily move like real human beings. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? There's some crazy stuff happening on the other side of this door. 
Andre? Oh man. Where the fuck is he? You know, or maybe not. Who knows? Andre, where are you, man? Kind of looks like I'm too scared to go in the room. So, like I said earlier, videotapes' sole reason to exist really is to show you an upcoming puzzle. This is kind of what I mean by that. Guy finds a hidden switch in the what the hell in the thing and opens up a secret door. So I bet you can bet what we're gonna be right, doing once the video's over. We, we find Andre and we go. We fuck this show. I know I called that guy who walked off Clancy earlier. Turns out I'm Clancy. Uh, that's Andre who disappeared. Here's where Mr. Weekend Sub tells me. To go first. You first. Need a nice hero Let me know if it's safe. Coming down the ladder. So, uh, you first. And of course, like the hero I am, I'm gonna go down there. Clancy's the real hero of Resident Evil 7. Some Blair Witch stuff happening over there. Whew. He's not going to be in the sequel. Alright, videotape is over. So uh, I said unlocking that drawer in the video leads to an unlockable. So if you unlock the drawer in the video, it's unlocked in the present day. So just open it up and there's our antique coin. Those buy your power-ups and some bird cages later in the game. So there's one for three that it increases your health one for five that increases your reload speed and then one for nine coins that gives you the magnum so here we are that's where Clancy went down in the hole Oh. oh, guess I can't get back up there. Damn it. There's the pipe that Andre was sucking on. the good old Baker family just lets their sewage pile up in the basement of their guest house. Yeah, you know. Got better things to worry about, I guess. Oh, man. There's good old Andre. He's been rotting for a while. Toilet full of needles. Wonder what they need those needles for. Yeah. Maybe this game's not necessarily about some sort of umbrella virus, it's just about a bunch of people on crack. 
some bolt cutters checking to see if I'm caught up with some stuff It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? There's me and Ethan? her amazing you know, right? plasticky straw like hair. What do you mean? You contact That's how real humans no, hair no, looks. I Did I? Did anyone see She must use some Did good conditioner. Hey, who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now! Where are you taking me? Someplace safe. Are you gonna tell me? Really don't know how much of the animations being off is uncanny valley trying to make you uneasy. How much of it is people at Capcom not really knowing how humans work. I'd like to believe more of the first one. Because it's effective. What is this place? What they do to you? Not now. We need to get out of here first. I think it's this way. Oh man, it looks like the owners of this house are on the up and up, man. I don't think anything creepy happens here. I'm just making some ketchup. I think that's exactly what it is. Mia, we have to talk. That message you sent me. Not me. That wasn't me. But you did. I didn't. Okay, fine. Just tell me what's going on. I'm telling you everything. So is she know. lying? Or did she really not send that? And somebody's manipulating you. These are questions that must be answered. Mia. And I don't necessarily remember if it's answered satisfactorily or not I remember maybe it'll be DLC later God, every time there's one of those moving through a skinny space you always feel like something's gonna jump out at you there. at the end of it it's there. your heart expecting a jump scare and when there isn't one you kind of get a sense of safety that probably shouldn't have There's another door here. I'm sure of it. like I said before this game definitely it's not here. It's gone. knows how to scare people We're gonna be a family now that you're here. knows all the tricks Nathan explosion doll. No, no, leave me alone. Oh man, is this house haunted? Better push deeper to find out. Doors opening by themselves. Creepy. Telephone. Good old Resident Evil maps. Wouldn't want you to get lost. You know, on the first aid kits. Been knocking on that door. Couldn't possibly be something bad. Probably just one of the owners. Accidentally left their keys at home. Through the hand. Yeah. 
won't be able to play violin anymore. inside of me. Get out! Leave me alone! I'm not bad. I deserve this. The fuck are you, Mia? Real world definitely needs some first aid medicine that could fix a hole in your hand. Whoever invented that would be a billionaire. Be a license to print money. No, she wasn't down for long. shouldn't have come here. Who's this? And what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic? Go there. Now. Oh man, she's gone. Her being able to take an axe in the neck just kind of continues my hypothet my hypothesis that just people on crack. Body doesn't know it's dead. There's a fuse. Wonder what I could possibly use that for. Oh, Mia's still stalking around. Nothing in that room. I don't know why I decided to go through that door. I knew exactly what was on the other side. I guess there was something in that room. It's okay, it's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. You shouldn't have done that! It fucking hurts! At least she's nice enough to always go for my left hand. I figure I'm probably right with my right hand, so it's not hurting me too much. Maybe she's just wanting to cut off my ring hand in this marriage once and for all. It's gonna make things really difficult to get through this game with only one hand. Well, get a, guess I better press on. 
Gotta get out of here so I can get to a hospital. Cauterize my stump. Like how they've upgraded saving technology. Gone from some typewriters to some cassette players. You know, top of the line at 1980 style. Okay, fine. I'm about to do some really stupid stuff. It's going to get me killed. It's going to be great. Some of the tricks you can do in easy mode don't necessarily work so good in normal mode. This is where I learned that. Death animations are pretty sweet in this game. Sometimes. Sometimes it's just kind of like, oh, now I'm dead. But that one's pretty sweet, having the chainsaw come out the front of you. Watch it chew through you. The uh, checkpoint system in this game is pretty lenient. It's kind of nice. So if you okay. die, you don't fall too far back. It's just one way they modernized this game. Was before it was definitely, you didn't save at that typewriter. Then you die, you go back hours. decided that using the axe and saving some ammo wouldn't really work too well. Might as well just shoot her. What are you I may do some dumb things, but I'm a quick learner. Having her saw through the door is a kind of a nice touch. Even if sometimes you catch the door closing just so she can do that. I think you kind of see that here. Yeah, she could easily make it through that door, but that door sure shuts. Then she does something that I completely wasn't expecting. So having the AI surprise you is kind of cool. Doesn't always happen. Yep, see I wasn't expecting her to come behind me. Try to like saw off the you know, hand that they, she'd already sawn off. But luckily, if enough lead to the face, she does kind of go down. At this point, I'm having some trouble getting the next uh, plot point to spawn in. 
sometimes you kind of just gotta find the right spot before they let you continue. There we go. Welcome to the family, son. So that's the first of the bakers we meet. We'll meet all of them here in a second. They're all kind of a little bit crazy. Maybe evil, maybe just misunderstood, who knows. Definitely crazy, all of them. How me and Mia have gotten dragged into their playtime or whatever is the mystery at this part of the game. Come on. Don't you die on us now. You have work to do. Oh yeah, here you go. Cutting age. Medical technology. Stapling a severed hand. But it won't work. Or maybe it will. This game does have first aid medicine that can cure holes in your hand. Why can't staples cure a severed hand? Load times are occasionally pretty long. Sometimes it's a pain. It's usually when you're loading up videos, though. What the hell? Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's time for supper. Who, who are all you people? Where's Mia? Eat it. It's good. Dumb son of a bitch wasn't no good if it hit him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, not again. Get out the way, Margaret. His boy's got to eat. He got to have his supper. Come here, boy. Let's do this. Come on. Get him, get him, get him. He's not eating the jack. He's not eating it. Get the hell up, Margarita. Good old fashioned home cooking. This was supposed to be a very special feast. Come on, boy. If you're ever invited to a family's house and they set that kind of stuff in front of you, it's definitely rude not to eat it. This kind of stuff tends to happen. God damn it! I'll bet it's that cop again. God damn pigs! I'm coming back for you. Kind of the first entrance of the cat and mouse game with the bakers. Various points in this game, you kind of got to hide from them. They're a little bit tough to kill. Especially the first time you play it and you don't have any, like, stuff. Herbs are still a part of this game. Uh, I don't know why I'm just sitting do doing nothing. There's Daddy. Don't you just slip out before Grab that key done. and run. Doesn't seem too pleased you're not sitting at the table no more. It's kind of intense when you have to fumble for a key and then it takes forever to open. It's closing in on you. So this is about the end of the uh, first episode of this. All right. I'll keep releasing them. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.